monster. Who's a scary monster? <sighs> so not only are we going to talk about religion and monsters, we're also going to talk about how it's the strangers and God and monsters motif. Well, what does that mean? It means that we're going to talk about morality and monsters, how monsters show us how we should behave or not behave or what we should do in the world. Well, we're going to do fun things like scripture analysis and watch movies like The Blob or Superman. I haven't decided yet. Okay, what are rabbinic literature classes this term is we're going to look at post-biblical literature in both the Talmud and Midrashic forms. So actually understanding how the rabbis looked at biblical um, stories and how they actually interpreted or how you were supposed to be a Jewish person. And now, and then, after we're finished setting up the parameters of biblical interpretation and how to actually look at biblical texts, we're going to move into the realm of literature and to see how authors um, interpreted that information and how they applied it to the context in which they lived. So we're going to look at The Chosen by Han Potok, which is a fabulous book and movie, which we will also watch. And that one actually looks at how do we interpret what's going on with the Shoah. Um, another thing that we're going to look at is the year living biblically, which is hysterical because A.J. Jacobs actually takes a year and goes through um, the biblical commandments and sees what he actually can live in everyday life. As you can see, he spent a lot of time growing his beard. Um, the other thing I would like to look at is something called the Red Tent, and this is a Midrashic portrayal of what happened with the story of Dina, who was the daughter of Jacob, and how that actually relates to the proliferation of rabbinic um, feminist literature, and so actually looking at how women received their voices and found their voices in the modern times. Well, I think it's very uh, interesting to take this class not only because it's understanding how to actually look at, at, at how we actually look at biblical texts and um, scripture as a whole, but this is also answering questions like, what is the nature of evil in the world? How do we deal with evil? How do we deal with difference? How do we deal with the difference between different religious groups? How do we deal with the difference between men's and women's religious experience? Um, or even just how do we actually live according to specific rules? And A.J. Jacobs is a great one for that one um, because he ends up doing a bunch of really fun stuff and he actually discovered a side of his person that he never thought about before he was actually dealing with this um, information. Come on, take my classes. I'm a really great prof. Hey, she really is a great prof.